Hey everyone, welcome back to the first video of uh, Android development with Kotlin. Uh, before that, actually, it's not a first video, it's a second one. Uh, so, however, uh, I've opened the Android Studio here. If you haven't downloaded it yet and installed it, I've uh, shown the process how to download and install. I'm just going to put uh, uh, the video link in the description and in the card button as well. Uh, you can go and watch that video if you want to know how to download and install Android Studio in your system. All right, uh, so uh, I'm just going to... Uh, go and create a project uh, new project and I'm gonna select empty activity next I'm gonna name uh, my application uh, I'm, what should we name uh, Kotlin app tutorial yeah and yeah make sure to choose a Kotlin language from here before you start right and I've selected uh, minimum SDK of 21 and this is my path so let's just finish and let uh, the studio create a project for us okay so our project is compiled and uh, we have uh, one default activity created uh, for us so basically what is activity I've already discussed everything in uh, my previous videos of uh, Java training but uh, those who are new to Android development and starting with Kotlin uh, basically activity is uh, something that you see on your screen uh, a, a one screen of your application will be your activity right uh, that's a basic uh, you know easy to understand concept uh, a definition I would say it's not accurate but yes uh, i would say this one screen is here uh, an activity uh, in short right so activity has uh, different life cycle processes uh, just like humans have right uh, so if you go to a browser and search about uh, activity like activity in android and an activity life cycle especially you you'll find this uh, link uh to this uh, web page this is basically a developer.android.com which is an official uh android website and it has all the i'm sorry it has all the resources that you uh you would like to refer during your learning process <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> during your learning process and here you can read about activities and activity life cycles basically it has uh, uh this methods on create on start resume on pause on stop and on destroy which is a part of activity life cycle you can read this uh, documentation if you want so i'm not gonna go deep into theory too much i'm just uh, gonna go and uh, see show you how to create an activity so basically an activity will have two files uh, one will xml which will have all the designs here you can see a text on the screen hello world uh, which is contained in the text view and uh, which is an xml file and other, uh, other than this you will have a kotlin file which handles all the programming if you want to do some something with the text if you want to change the text or if you want to click the text and perform some uh, operation on that uh, you would uh, do everything in here basically right so uh, and yes uh, in the manifest file here uh, as well it's an important file as well uh, all the activities that you create are has to be uh, listed here in the manifest right so yeah so now there are two ways to create activities one we can just directly right click on this folder are in the resource folder and the layout folder here we can right click on either folder and click on new then in activity we can uh, select any kind of activity that we want i'm just gonna go with empty activity here yeah then we have to name it um, i'm gonna name it sample activity uh, and now you can see a checkbox here launcher activity now if we uh, click this it will be a launcher activity which is basically it says that it, whenever we open our application the first application that we are going to see is this application uh, sorry this activity right uh, so that's basically a launcher activity now let me click on finish 
and it should create uh, an XML file and a Kotlin file for us. And yeah, one more a tip uh, for you. Uh, when this uh, Gradle building and compilation is running, do not change the code during that time, right? Uh, you might uh, uh, have uh, an error of, or any, things, any sort of problem uh, if you do that. So better to avoid that, right? Uh, so yeah, here's a sample activity Kotlin file and here it is uh, the designing file, like XML file to design. All right so and in android manifest we can see uh, that a sample activity is listed here but here we have two launcher activities basically in activity uh, tag we can see this intent filter tag which has two more tags uh, an action which says it's the main activity and category which is a launcher activity basically whichever activity has this intent filter tag inside it uh, will be the launcher activity and the launcher activity again i would repeat is the one that uh, opens the first uh, when we open our application so we don't need two activities as our launcher activity so i'm just gonna remove this intent filter from here so another method is that uh, we can create layout file xml file and kotlin file separately so let's create uh, an activity that way so new layout resource file and I'm gonna name it uh, another uh, okay activity another uh, basically you can uh, name whatever uh, you like but uh, uh, as it I'm just uh, writing uh, it uh, like this to maintain the consistency activity underscore another so this will be our xml file and now we'll have to create a kotlin file for this as well so kotlin and uh, i'll name it another activity so uh as you can see uh it's a sample activity that we created we have this method in it and uh, another activity class doesn't have any method or any extension here so basically to uh, make this class an activity we have to extend a class app compact activity app compact activity here it is and now we have to map this uh, kotlin file with this xml file basically let, let me just uh, remove every other files for now uh, let's open another activity and another xml so we have to map this xml file into this activity so to do that we have to call a method override a method uh, which is on create method on create and it will override itself and uh, to now we'll have to write one more line to map uh, the xml file which is uh, set content view and we write r dot layout dot activity another so yeah that's how we map this view with this file so but still uh, there's something uh, missing here let me show you in android manifest as i mentioned whatever the activity we create in our uh, application should be listed here in uh, the manifest right so we have to add this activity in our manifest file we can do that manually by just in the application tag uh, this application tag inside that we can just create an activity and we can name another activity like this or instead of this there is another short way of doing it is uh, if we click on this there will be a yellow bulb popping up uh, if you just uh, click on that uh, you'll have an option that says add activity to manifest and it will add activity to manifest for us automatically so basically that's how you can create activities and you, you can uh, if you create an activity manually you can uh, map uh, the xml file with uh, the kotlin file using this method on create method which is a part of uh, activity lifecycle 
another methods are on stop uh, on stop then uh, there is on resume method that we can uh, overwrite then there is on start method then on pause then there is on destroy method as well so every method has its own functionality so uh, as the name suggests uh, on start methods uh, is invoked whenever this activity is open and then after that on activity on create method invokes and uh, basically each method has its own functionality you can read about that on uh, this page and if you are too lazy to read about it don't worry uh, you don't really have to uh, we are gonna cover every concept when uh, it's the correct time uh, when we will use that in the uh, making an application right so we are gonna use uh, every sort of uh, life cycle methods but i would recommend you to read about it uh, here once at least once so you can have an understanding before using it right so yeah that's how you create activities in android and uh, these are the methods of um, activity life cycles so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video where we'll cover intent which is uh, going from one activity to another so yeah uh, i'll see you guys in the next video